great for students how all of you are doing i believe that all of you are doing great so welcome back to our another class for subject science okay and uh, today's date is today is friday and 9th october 2020 okay <clears throat> and today we're going to be studying about pitch on percussion instrument okay last week we learned about high and low sounds okay so high and low sounds uh, depends on the pitch of a sound okay but pitch has nothing to do with uh, how loud and how soft is the sound so loudness and softness of the sound <coughs> uh, depends on amplitude of a sound of a sound wave but uh, high and low sound depends on the pitch of a sound okay so some sounds can be loud but will have a low pitch okay but some sounds can be soft but will have a high pitch okay so and today we will review about pitch on percussion instruments okay so let me read first and then i will explain you okay Pitch on 4.8, page number 66, 67, okay. Percussion instruments include drums, shakers and rattles, okay. Drums are one of the oldest and simplest musical instruments, okay. Let's talk about musical. What are musical instruments? Musical instruments uh, that make uh, sounds that use in uh, music, okay. So music instruments like a xylophone, drums, okay, and piano, okay, and uh, you can see some here, okay, tambourine, bangles, okay. So there are so many musical instruments, okay. If you start counting, there are so many musical instruments uh, are used in a musical industry. To make a sound with a percussion instrument like a drum, you have to hit or shake it, okay. So what does it mean hit hit like this okay like a tap okay or like this like i'm i'm tapping or i'm i'm hitting okay shake shake like this okay so some intro instruments work uh, when you shake it okay and some instruments need uh tapping okay like a hit so that's what we call uh percussion instruments hitting or shaking it sets up vibrations in the air and you make a sound okay so as you know that uh, last few weeks we learned about uh, what is sound so vibrations uh, make sounds okay so when you hit hit something so vibrations it vibrates and that's why it makes sound so a daf is a drum from the middle east okay middle east uh, is a a group of countries like okay look at the look at each of these instruments which of these have you seen and heard okay so number one maracas okay next one tambourine number three bongos okay so these three instruments are uh, percussion instruments okay some drums have a skin stretched over the top okay have you ever seen a drum okay when you stretch the skin tightly it makes the vibrations quickly okay so i will explain it later on okay the drum in the steel band are made from steel metal oil drums okay the drums in the steel band are different sizes okay so if you have just if you have you ever seen a drum set okay if you're not go on google search drum set okay so you will see so many uh, like a steel band steel bands okay when you hit the top of uh, one of the drums the metal top vibrates and makes a sound okay the air trapped in the drum makes the sound loud okay so let's have a look okay first of all what does percussion mean okay percussion is a method of tapping anything with fingers okay like this hands okay with finger hands you can tap it like this okay or small instrument okay suppose this is just a small instrument okay like this okay so percussion means tapping something with your fingers okay or hands 
or uh, small instruments okay so here is drum okay so let's small drum and big drum okay so small drum will have a smaller in size and a smaller top okay and bigger drum will have a big in size and big top okay and uh, skin the skin is stretched over here okay so and same with the bigger drum okay so smaller drum makes high pitch sound okay and uh, bigger drums make low pitch sound because uh, bigger drums takes a long time to wobble back and forth okay to bounce okay so if the skin is skin so if you have ever seen a drum skin is tightly stretched over the top okay if the skin is loose it will not make a high pitch sound okay because it will take time to bounce skin will take time to bounce okay so that's why all the drums most of the drums have tight uh, uh, skin on top uh, uh, tightly stretched okay so and uh, you can also make it loose or you can also make it uh, uh, tight okay because nowadays uh, all the drums have a uh, like uh, some functions like uh, some thing that you can make the skin tight and you can make the skin loose okay so as I mentioned earlier, like small drums will make high pitch sound, okay? So high pitch sound will have less difference, okay? So like this, because it will vibrate quickly, okay? Because when you hit the, when you tap on the small, small drum, it will vibrate quickly. It will not take time to wobble back and forth. But, uh, so when, uh, on the other hand, when we talk about the bigger drum, it will take time to wobble back and forth. Okay, so it will not uh, bounce back quickly. So it will take time to uh, make uh, make vibrations. So that's why a big drum will have a lower pitch. Okay, so small drum will have higher pitch, and the big drum will have lower pitch. Okay, so and if the top is loose so it will take time to bounce back so that's why it will uh, it will have a low pitch or it will not sound properly okay so that's why most of the uh, most of the drums have tightly stretched skins okay and uh, <coughs> so uh, coming on to your task one okay so your task one is on page number 67 okay page number 67 you need to answer the question okay first question in the steel band which drums do you think make high pitched sounds and which make low pitched sound okay so as I mentioned earlier you need to answer these questions how does the steel band play a tune okay find out how does steel because when you uh, when you hit the top of a steel uh, steel band so it makes vibrations okay it makes vibrations so as you know so when uh, anything vibrate it makes sound so sound waves come out and it vibrates the air okay so that's how it makes sound how could you change the pitch of the sound on the frequent drum in the picture okay so you can see a frequent drum okay so how you could change the pitch okay so this is your task one okay and that's all about uh, our first video today okay if you will have any doubts any questions you can ask me okay i will be there to help you okay so percussion okay try to find uh, percussion uh, instruments are two types okay uh, like uh, definite and indefinite okay definite uh, percussion uh, instruments like xylophone okay piano because you can change tune okay you can change tune okay on xylophone but drum on drum you can change tune okay so it will sound the same if you tap anywhere it will sound the same but xylophone or piano uh, you, it, you can change the tune but on uh, drum you can change the tune okay so that's why drums are indefinite uh, 
percussion instruments okay uh, that's it in the first video i will see you uh, in the next video okay so if you will have any questions any doubts you can ask me okay so that's it in the first video hello students welcome back to our second video for today's class today we are learning about pitch on percussion instruments okay so if you have time so just go on google and search percussion instruments okay so you will find some percussion instrument some of them you need to shake shake like this okay some of them you need to tap or hit okay like this okay some of them you need to shake and hit at the same time okay like uh, uh, temp like a uh, tambourine okay tambourine you can shake it and you can tap it okay so both you can do both on that okay so and uh, percussion uh, some percussion instruments uh, you can uh, we can change tune like a xylophone and piano but they are definite uh, percussion instruments okay but indefinite percussion instruments we cannot change the tune okay it will sound the same doesn't matter it will change but not that much it you cannot change the tune completely it, if you tap in the middle and if you tap on the edges so it will sound the same okay so coming on to your task two your task two is on page number 40 okay uh, second part of your book page number 40 okay volume on percussion instruments okay so what it says in this exercise you will apply what you know about loud and soft sounds to percussion instruments okay which instruments do you bang okay so here are some instruments okay large drum small drum okay so which instruments do you bang okay so write down the name shake okay bang and shake both okay so how do you make a louder sound with with maracos okay so this is the maracos how will you make a loud sound with it okay so that's your task too if you will have any doubts any questions you can ask me i will be there to help you with your task too okay and uh, don't forget uh, don't forget when you write on the book textbook use pencil you can use pen on your textbook but on your uh, you can use pen on your notebook but on textbook always use pen okay because if you make any mistakes easy to make corrections okay so that's it in the second video i will see you in the third and last video hello students welcome back to our third and last video for today and you guys have done a great job in task one and task two so well done and keep it up okay so let me explain you one more time before i give you homework okay pitch on percussion instruments so what are percussion instruments so percussion instruments are like uh, drums okay uh, <coughs> timbre uh, xylophone okay piano okay but xylophone and piano are definite uh, definite uh, percussion instruments because you can change tune in there but uh, drums and uh, timbre you cannot change okay so what does percussion mean percussion is a method of uh, tapping anything with finger hands or small instrument okay tapping with finger means okay say like this like this like this okay tapping with hand with whole hand okay tapping with instrument like something you have in your hand and you tap okay so and if we talk about drums okay so a drum will have a skin okay skin on the top okay and a frame a wooden frame okay it's like a vase, vase okay like a flower vase okay so and uh, bigger or large drum will have a, a big bigger top and the uh, skin is stretched on the top okay and small drum will make a high pitched sound okay a big drum or large drum will make a low pitched sound because the skin of the drum will take time to wobble back and forth 
okay so it will it will produce uh, like uh, low vibrations okay and uh, small drum will not take that much time it will take high vibrate it will produce high vibrations so high vibrations means uh, high pitch and low vibrations mean low pitch okay so we studied last week low low vibrations mean uh, make uh, low low pitch and high vibrations uh, like high frequency okay high frequency makes high pitch and low frequency makes low pitch okay so coming on to your homework so your homework is on last part of your book okay so if you find wait let me check skill builder okay skill builder page number 42 okay page number 42 4.8 pitch on percussion instruments okay so look at these three drums okay you have three drums here then you need to answer the questions which drum will make the sound with the highest pitch why okay which drum will make the sound with the lowest pitch why okay then give me the answer what could you do to make the pitch higher on the instrument on this instrument okay what could you do okay so what which one will make lowest the lowest pitch and what could you do okay so to make the pitch higher on that instrument okay what could you do to change the pitch on miracles okay so what can you do to make the pitch change the pitch on miracles okay so this is your homework don't forget to do your homework if you don't do your homework you will not get any points uh, and then uh, you will not get any points in your final exam okay so if you don't want to uh, lose any points if you don't want to fail in your final exams uh, don't forget to do your homework okay so that's it for today thanks for participating take care be safe i will see you next week bye bye